Uh, no, do you want to hear something on. controversial? LeBron isn't on it. Your first two picks aren't on it. What? Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I trust you. I can't what see it. What does that happen? I can't see it. Is he yeah, it. Check, oh, your no. check your phone. Everyone, check your phone. Oh, my God. It's, it's happened. Trigger? It's happened. It's happened. What has he gone? He's who's, gone who's, to the who's? Nets. He's gone to the Nets. Oh, oh for gone to the Nets. Say. Yeah. I wanted him to go to the Sixers so they get Simmons. No. Alright, let's just bring Jordan back in. Let's, let's quickly just bring Jordan back in. And then we can. Oh my god. Don't tell him what the category is. Don't tell him what the category is. Don't tell him what the package is. Don't tell him what the package is. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Jordan, here we go. Sick man breaking news. Okay. The hottest news. James Harden has been traded to the Brooklyn Nets. I'm going to give you guys the details of the trade. Yes, we're seeing a live reaction from George right now. Okay, so Brooklyn get James Harden. Houston get Karis LeVert, Dante wow. Exum. Oh, God, I can't even say the player's name. Oh, God, I can't even say his name. Four first-round picks and four pick swaps. And Cleveland are the third team in this. They get Jared Allen and Torian Prince. I've just read Can something we... else as well now. Yes, yes. yes. The, the Rockets yeah. are expanding the deal to send Karis Lever to the Pacers for Victor Oladipo. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Can uh, I just you know, get some thoughts? What did mention is Karooks. Karooks, that's his name. Can we please just speak about this? What four are you guys... Four first rounders and four pick swaps. Four pick swaps? Oh. Yeah. It's a lot. Mate, that's eight. insane. You thought the Nets mortgaged away their future when they got Ray Allen? Oh no, not Ray Allen. When they got Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett, this is this is eight years without probably a first round pick now, or with a very low low ranked first round pick. Um, On pick swaps, all first round pick swaps. Oh uh, well, yeah, that will. There'll be yeah, there'll be there'll be. I reckon there'll be first rounders. Yeah. Golly, who's got the Nets again? Jordan. Gosh. Yeah. How are you feeling about it, George? Okay, so in my mind, I could probably see why they did it. Like, I could, when it was rumored and everything, you could see why they did it, because now with the whole Kyrene thing, um, it's in the hands of the NBA. He can't decide when he's coming back. That's probably purely in the NBA's hands and what they decide. So I think in that aspect, they were like, okay, we can't just leave KD without any help we already know that KD has a good relationship with Harden and that so let's bring him in that'll probably be a better partnership there to help us carry us through but like man that that in my that's a lot so it's, it's um, championship or bust isn't it let's yeah be literally big gamble because I was planning on asking you guys this like what's your opinion like when you get a- athletes like kind of like Kyrie who kind of like do go off and do their own thing and may need their space and kind of bend the rules and bring that bad attention. What's your viewpoint on it? Do you just like get rid of them and trade them or like they've done get someone I, else in? I think Steve Nash is controlling the situation as, as best as he could. I'm, I'm yeah. not saying, I think Kyrie is obviously a distraction, but now you've got Harden, he's a second distraction. And yeah, exactly. he's he's wanted to get traded so he should perform, but... You just don't know in this like situation, right. like yeah. I I think that they like the the biggest piece that they lose here is Jared Allen. Definitely, that guy is so good, and yeah. now they're going to be relying on DeAndre Jordan at center. And I think they're going to get teams beat the brakes off them. We know they can score, but they I don't think they can defend. Yeah. Yeah, who who comes in now? Who comes in as like a centre replacement? Also, I think we should talk about the Indiana Pacers. Mm. They get Karis LeVert. Uh, mm. Oladipo is obviously within their starting lineup. Brogdon's playing really well for the Pacers. Sabonis is also playing exceptionally well. Do you think the Pacers have got better or worse in this deal? Better. I definitely think they got better because I think that Karras feels like he still has something to prove about himself. Whereas on the depot, you know, at the peak of his powers went down with the injury and, you know, it took a long time to come back, understandably. But I think that there was 
because at one point Victor Oladipo was their best player and Sabonis has now taken over that role. How Victor Oladipo feels about that may have may affected his play. Uh, so getting Karis LeVert in there, who's like a lot younger and eager, um, mm. and can take that 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 you know Robin to Sabonis as Batman, I think is a much better fit. To be honest, um, and I feel like although Victor Oladipo hasn't been as bad as I thought he was going to be, he does feel like he is a step slow um, in, a, in one of his biggest assets has been his speed in past. Um, and, and Cleveland get Jared Allen, as you said, Grace. They pick up a really good piece. Hopefully they yeah, can they make push to the playoffs. No, nah, move him again. Move him again. They don't, they don't need him. They've got so many big men. Their whole roster is fours and fives. Like, Larry Nance has been playing the three. Like, what? Move him. For the, for the safety of my fantasy team, move him. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you look to move him too? I'm do you reckon him. Cleveland are just stockpiling big guys so that when everybody realizes they need big guys to beat the Lakers, they're just going to be holding all the cards? <laughs> yeah, it's the biggest middle finger to LeBron. Like, you, you just collecting all enough. the plus fours in Uno. <laughs> Literally. Like, Jesus. Yeah, it's like, man. So, um, hey, maybe they trade a lot of their big men to get uh, the pieces they really want next year in free agency. <laughs> George asked the question. George, you should ask it again. It's a good question. Yeah, so my question was, where would you look to move him to and for what piece? Jared ja- um, Jared Allen. Jared Allen. Allen. Yeah. yeah. I, if I'm Cleveland, I would, I would move, him, move him for a pick. I think uh, the Kings... Potentially, good mm-hmm. destination. Um, it's not really working out with Marvin Bagley, so maybe you maybe you do a swap. Maybe you want want to pick an exchange, um, or you could see them go the other way and sell high on Andre Drummond um, because he's having a fantastic season. Did they, they negotiate a contract? No, I'm not too sure. Well, I don't know. I don't know if he's locked in. That would obviously change what you could get for him, but. If you're the if you're the Cavs, do you see your future with Andre Drummond or with Jared Allen? I would I would pick Jared Allen simply based on I I think Drummond is going to be requiring too much money um, yeah. to be effective. That is that's all from us and the headline that James Harden is in Brooklyn. Wow, shots! So that is. Brooklyn, uh, championship or bust. And that is it from us at the Sixth Man in this, this breaking news segment. <laughs>